Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm joined by Frigator, um, who is going to be showing me um, his replica build that he made with Snipe. And this actually happened because um, the Titan C video went really well and Frigator was like, yeah, can I do a video? I'm like, yeah, we can do that. So we're gonna check it out. Um, Frigator, are you ready to show? Video. Yeah, sure. So this is a recreation of a Sukhoi flanker um, SU-33 oh. D version. This is actually my um, first reaction. <laughs> this is so. This is amazing. Yeah, most of the design parts are done by Snipe. Um, I made like the back landing gear, parts of the nose and cockpit. Um, helped him on some other stuff. Some of the things are like copied from like older builds of him because like uh, all the flankers have like some similarities. This yeah. is the airshow version, so there's no loadout on it. Um, I got fully working landing gear with doors. It took me very long to get it to work right in the back. It got working spit throttle. It got uh, thrust vectoring in the back. Oh, that um, is it has crazy no, cool. It has no actual gun in its body, which is like a skill issue. Snipe and I have a lot. However, he basically never puts one in the actual planes, but just stuff on gun pots. So that does not exist. Um, the little however, camera there is cool. And is that your head poking out the top in the cockpit there? Yay! We oh, actually awesome. put the seat into the cockpit, which a few people don't do. It's way too small for a flanker, it should be way larger. But like, it's at very high complexity, I think it's somewhere around like 1700, about that. And if I that remember is... right, it uses like uh, about 75 hinges and pistons only for the design. 75 pistons and hinges, that is almost... Yeah, I reckon it's almost as much, if not more, hinges than I have in my whole, like, suspension setup I made. <laughs> that is crazy. I'm gonna check on that later again. Yeah, um, okay. Yeah, so it took me quite long to make the control logic for this thing work. It flies quite floaty and, like, prioritizes the um, pitch over the roll, uh, which took me quite long to figure out back then. <laughs> I guess you can hop in real quick. Um, okay, yeah, I'll give it a go. Most controls are self-explanatory, uh, like just press uh, yep. W, A, S, D, Q, E. Oh. oh yeah, now that you're appeared, yeah, there's probably some stuff not glitching in right, like right here in the front, you can kind of see it, like those guys. So I guess you could just keep on repairing until it gets right and we will cut to that. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh. is it right? You got... Okay, you're very lucky. You, oh, you, awesome. Yeah. That, that, that went quick. Um, so, space? So, yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> now you're taking off. Oh you my god. Out with the pitch because it's very ex there you go with the Cobra. Oh, that's Just so cool. Line. G is your gear. G. And if you now wanted to split the throttles, um, you press shift and then you can press Q and E and one side will deactivate. Just hold shift down and oh. then press Q or E. And you will see that you get yaw, like quite a bit of it. Oh my gosh, I've never I been in a plane that turns that sharp. Because you're going very fast and you probably just did an accidental backflip because you aren't used yet to just tapping at high speeds. Oh wow. You can, you can try to just like, yeah, there you go with, there you go with whatever that maneuver is called. Um, you can try to like, yeah, now, now you're in a Cobra, now you're doing a Kobashi's Bell almost, I think. That's, yeah, this is... I I don't know if I could ever build like a plane this good looking and like complex. Like um do do the planes always have um I forgot the names for them but the um little ailerons at the front. The, the control um, surface in the front, the canards. Yeah, um, canards, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like I'm pretty sure I don't know a lot about Russian jets. I'm not that much of a plane guy in general. But I'm, but I'm very, very sure that at least all the flankers got canards. Um, there's gotta be a few Soviet and Russian jets that don't have them, for sure. But, like, all the flankers do. And all the flankers are massive, however, this one is quite small. That is a fast so That is a very sharp turn. You, go, you gotta watch out when you get close to the water servers, because oh, if oh. you spin out, you're gonna... <laughs> yep. You're gonna do that! <laughs> yeah. It gets flashbacks to I am sinking. I'm thinking, oh my god, yeah. You gotta put, you, go, you gotta cut this out right now and just put the video scene from back then in here. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna do that. Oh, you got this. Now, Trainmaker's doing weird things to me. I don't like this. 
Oh no! I'm thinking. Hello, hello. Why are you thinking? Oh no! That'll be that'll be good. I really like the color scheme too, though. Like, yeah, I haven't Snipe seen many blue points. Great job on the paint job. Um, back then, like, kind of a, a few. De you will see a few weird decals on that. That's because he didn't have the new decal DLCs. Like some of them. So back then I just reached out to him when we were building this and just went like, sure man, if you cannot afford them, I'm gonna buy them for you. So there's like stuff on here. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Just there because I bought them for him. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. I nearly went through one of the holes in the bridge. You oh. nearly went through. I just saw a bunch of scrap flying my way. <laughs> I did it. I flew through it. You did it? Yeah. How close were you? Uh, 500. 500? Hmm. Uh, not, not super fast, but... Okay, so you mentioned doing some formation flight maybe earlier, and for that I would use like the newest version Snipe Mate, that actually has like even more insane pitch though, because there's two space <laughs> thrusts in the thrust vectoring nozzles. On oh the my description God. literally is, Frag, you better fix that split throttle. I still have not fixed that split throttle. So basically, the uh, split throttle does not work on the thrusters in the back. Okay. However, it got some modes that enables us to fly in formation and it got tracking missiles. Let's so go. let's just. You, you just start taking off and you're just gonna try to fly kind of straight and I'm gonna try to catch up to you. Yeah. You can already feel the server lag going places. <laughs> Yep. Oh man, this is the coolest view. I'm literally in orbit camera looking backwards and I can see. Pitch up, pitch up, pitch up. Excellent pitch up. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, so th in this mode, it's actually quite easy to do formation. I'm just turning my thrust real quick so I can catch up for a little. Watch out that you don't sink too much. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Cobra, Cobra, yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. You just came a little closer to my thing, which is good. I think um, world groups be funny. Something's going yeah, crazy. Yeah, world groups are funny. However, we are in the formation flight. <laughs> yeah, 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 We should probably turn around because we're soon gonna hit the border. Yeah. So, I'm gonna turn around and we're gonna fly back. And I guess then I can like still show off like some of the control logic I made because it is a little junk. And there has been more added, especially to this one. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh wait, there's, oh, there's guns on this one. Uh. Yep. They're randomly on the wings. There, there, there is a version with a full loadout. Um, I've sent you a few pictures of it. I might show it off later. It's it's very complex. Um, but it doesn't fly as good as this one because like it's very heavy and it already has like a bunch of complexity more. Oh man, the server's gone so slow. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna do this thing right now. Um... And like, you've done the um the same thing with the sh shield pieces getting glitched upwards to create the um the air intakes on the front. I just love the oh, look of yeah. that. Yeah, the like... problem like that's that's mainly thing like Snipe mainly made made those. Um, he made me have a lot of headache later though, because he decided to also include the intakes being like canted inwards if you know what i mean if you look at it from the front they're also angled from that so basically the weld what? groups of the shield piece getting angled up strongly fight against the body because it's on a separate weld group so they cannot glitch in the okay weld groups on this thing are how, so, how does it's that too, work it what? doesn't it really doesn't actually it does not work but like it 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 it, it, it kind of does um, because of that, the angle of the intakes also is a little in inaccurate. Um, but yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's so good. And kaboom. <laughs> I should definitely sort my blueprints into folders, so it would be easy to find stuff. Because right now I just got hundreds and hundreds of versions of different stuff that I basically don't need anymore, just laying around everywhere in my blueprints tab. Oh uh, yeah, man. For hours. Oh, you I found it. You should have a look at the. Stuff oh yeah, I made a description for it. Green, purple, and yellow connected to elevator slash canards. Red connected to the thrust. Don't forget about putting the right controls onto the thrusters. So yeah, this is basically like the logic I made. So 
Um, when you see most people combine a pitch and roll, they basically have in the way that when they pitch up and now they would press D, and then the right elevator in the back that would just go down, you know? Yeah. However, this thing was it wasn't supposed to stop pitching when you start rolling whilst wanting to do a cobra or something. So it prioritizes the pitch over the roll, meaning when I now press D, <laughs> yeah. this side will just go up even more. And when I now press A, this side just will go up even more. So instead of one side deactivating for it to also roll by pitching, one side just pitches stronger, which means you always have like a very high amount of pitch and it even gets more when you roll. So that's basically how it prioritizes the upwards pitch over the roll. Um, it does not yeah. do that for the downwards pitch, however. They're just deactivated one side, like you would see it on any other plane. Yeah. But also not as much. Um, yeah, but that's still, not, like, not... probably really useful, right? Like, I'm sure he did it for a reason. Like, that's I, really I, cool. I made that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I saw the way he flew planes and the way, like, his kind of controls were. So I saw that he loves for planes to have basically no roll, but insane amount of <laughs> pitch. So, yeah. all this logic, all, all this stuff was needed to make that work. I don't know if oh I could make gosh. it more compact now. Um, Maybe. I mean, over here, over I... here is the logic for the throttle splitting. So basically, when you press key, uh, Q and E, you just got one of the thrusters turning on. Simple. When you press yeah. space, both of them turn on. But if you now just press Q or E, then that doesn't do anything. So right now we just have like the usual yaw with our like rudders that we have under in the back on our ver uh, on our vertical stabilizers. Yeah. So if I now want to activate the split throttle, I hold down shift, and when I now press Q or E, one side will deactivate. The fact you went to that much of an extra length just to add a feature, which most people probably won't even notice, but it's like really cool anyway. Like, <laughs> congrats, man. That's awesome. I love it. That's really cool. Yeah, I, I don't see that many joint builds. So, like, it's so cool to see people work together on a build. I don't hear yeah. about that much. Yeah, like, corporations are kind of, kind of got a little rare in the community. However, like, it's very good for someone like me who quickly uses the motivation to work on a project. And someone like Snipe for who it kind of is the same sometimes even though he's like better than i am but like that way we can just kind of go like yeah remember we gotta work on that right yeah yeah okay and we can kind of double check on each other if one of us does something stupid so yeah like, the I other guess. one just points out the mistake to him and then we can improve it that is that is so cool man if you've liked and enjoyed the plane which fregated his show today um then make sure to yeah go check out his stuff on the workshop and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh wait, it's not on the workshop. Oh, okay, check out this other stuff anyway. <laughs>